Hello, so we're going to work on our first crayon skill builder page and it's all about color theory. It says use crayons for the skill builder. It's essentially a color sheet you're following along, but down here and down here you kind of have to use the color wheel to help you answer your questions down here. So um, you're going to need the six colors of the rainbow. You're going to need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and that might take you a little while to find them, especially if you're borrowing my crayons. If you have a nice new crayon box that you're using, it might be easier for you to find them. So I'm going to quickly color in the top half, and then I will come back and uh, talk you through the bottom half. Okay, so this is the six colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Um, this is the colors of the rainbow, including indigo. So you will need to find the indigo crayon in your color bin or indigo. So then you need to fill in the cool colors and the warm colors. Cool colors are colors that you think of cool things like an ice cube or um, a pool of water. So cool colors are green, blue, and violet. So you're going to color those into the cool space. And this sheet is thought as a reference sheet. So as you start to create your wall work later on in the school year, if you're looking for an objective that maybe says identify warm and cool colors in your artwork, then if you don't remember what warm and cool, you have this color theory sheet to refer back to in your color, in your sketchbook for when you want to demonstrate that objective. Okay. So down here, complementary colors are opposite on the color wheel, so you would come straight across. So complementary colors are red and green. And I'd like you to color this in as neatly as possible and fairly solidly. I know sometimes we want to rush and get it done, but this is the one of the first colored pages in your sketchbook. And so if it looks nice, um, you, you're going to have to look at it off and on all year long, so you want it to look fairly nice. So blue and orange are directly across from each other, and then that leaves yellow and violet. You can do these in any order. You do not have to do the first section red and green and the second section blue and orange like I did. You can um, do yellow and violet first if you like. Okay, and then analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. So um, you're going to pick colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, three sets. You can make more than three sets of analogous colors from this color wheel, but um, you get to pick the three that you want to do. And then value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color, so you're going to pick one of those colors, crayons, and you're going to either start lightly color as you go across into this rectangle and get darker, or you'll do the opposite, start dark and get light. And it needs to be gradual and not look stripey. So you're just going to keep adding more and more pressure, how hard you press with the crayon, to make this strip get darker and darker. All right, and that's how you complete your first crayon skill builder page on color theory.